to Rishan Solutions. In this video, we'll discuss how to create a Canvas app in Power Apps, and also we'll discuss how to integrate OneDrive data with the Power App. We'll create a Canvas app inside that will uh, create an app, and then we'll connect with the OneDrive for Business, and then we'll update the data in an Excel sheet inside the OneDrive for Business. So for that, first I'm going back to Microsoft 365 homepage. So in this, I'm trying to open OneDrive for Business. When we click this one, it will open OneDrive for Business. And there is my files here. Under that, we have an, a demo folder. So we'll create a new folder. And I'm creating a new folder called as Canvas App Folder. Click Create. And under this Canvas App Folder, will create a excel sheet so for that here we have a new option under that we have excel workbook click on this excel workbook now prevent it's something asking for the pop-ups and i'm trying i'm trying to select that to allow the pop-ups now here so this is about a welcome message i'll close that we'll try to insert a table here so here we have table option and then the data for your table is for only single column it's showing and uh, we'll do we'll expand this to uh, for five co five columns so here and first i'm giving this book name as we'll try to change this name now we'll save it and then we'll try to change that so we'll define the columns here and it is title and uh, I'm just giving type of product and in the third column I'm giving make and here I'm just giving cost And here I'm giving manufacturing manufactured or uh, manufactured year I just give like this and a D year so we have total one two three four five five columns available in this table now it is already saved when you see this message it is saved once it is saved we'll change the title I'm just giving a name as products so it's done now we, we created excel sheet inside a canvas folder we'll refresh this one then we'll see the name changed here now okay this is open and then i'll close this one i'll close this one so we have a folder named as canvas app folder and there is a excel sheet under that named as a products dot xlsx now we are done with this we'll go back to the power apps and this is a power apps home page and from the power apps home page i'm trying to create a canvas app from the blank now you can give a name as products info app and then we have two options either you can go with a tablet or a phone format so you can choose anyone now the in this video we'll choose this tab uh, tablet click this one now it is creating a canvas app getting things ready okay just a register click getting started okay now it's showing that welcome to power up studio this is a welcome message i don't want every time so this is fine it's currently we don't have any connection inserted here and even we are not inserted any controls on this one now we'll try to add a data connection to add a data connection here we have data option when we click this one it is asking to set something but we don't have any data connections yet to establish a new connection we have to click this add data and you can able to search the data source from here so we decided to work with OneDrive for business so just type OneDrive for business or OneDrive you can able to see a normal OneDrive and OneDrive for business also you have here click this OneDrive for business 
so when you hit this OneDrive for business so it is showing some options here uh, OneDrive for business this connection and OneDrive for business so I'll choose this one so when we click that it, it is automatically showing two folders which are available in the OneDrive so we have under my files we have canvas app folder and the demo folder we have click this canvas app folder we have a excel sheet named as an a products dot xlsx when we click this one it will show the tables so we have a table inside that the table name is table one only one table we have and we are not given any name so that's why it's giving a name as table one if you give a name to the table and you'll see that name here click connect so now when we click connect nothing nothing is happened and it just created a table one data connection under this data now we have this so we'll discuss we'll come back about this data connection again so before that now we have this uh, canvas app now we are not inserted anything just select this one or you can select from here this is a screen one now i'm trying to insert a form on this one to insert the form we have an insert option here in the menu bar and under that you can able to see the form edit form and display form display form only reads data and edit form will be useful to add the data and update the data and click this click that edit now i want to fit this complete form but i, I just want to keep uh, some space in the top to insert a label uh, to show the information or to uh, display a label in the top of the app so now this is ready your farm is ready but there is no connection established yet this farm is not connected to any data yet we'll, we'll click this one or it is already selected you can come here to the data source when you click this drop down you can able to see the available data connections inside this application now we have only one data connection which is created just before from OneDrive for business you can able to see that table here when we click this table now the message only changed but you we don't have any columns here now see there are no fields in, in this form choose fields you want to add from the customization pan but i don't want to do from uh, insert any controls from there but we can do it from the edit fields when i click edit fields even here also we don't have anything there are no fields in this control but still we can able to add from here click add fields now you can able to see these fields now we have cost make manufacturer year title and type of product select whatever you want and just click add once we click add we can able to see the fields appearing here as well as here now you can able to see cost make manufactured year and title and type of product but the thing is i don't like to have these three columns i just want to have two columns now we can able to see cost make title manufacture and type of product still i have i have not satisfied with this design i can able to change the fields now see we'll minimize this we'll minimize this this and this and this now i want title to be in a first place to make that just select this one and drag and drop into the first place now what happens title in first place now then I want to change this type of product to the second place and then make would be in a third place and manufacture here in fourth place and the cost in fifth place when I do like this automatically that will change here in the app now it is done we'll put a label in the top so we'll keep zero and zero and then size size will change this size to 980 and then it uh, will change to 80 would be fine and this is 1280 no I think we can increase like this to see maximum so now it is 1366 now the width is 1366 now here we'll change the title to product information so we are done with that product information we'll make it as big 
and we'll make this as 24 and um, yeah now this is looks good and then put some background color to this and we'll put blue color and then this will be white color and we'll make that in the middle of the app okay now we are done with this when you try to run this one now you cannot able to see anything no items to display and uh, so this is we are not editing any item we are just trying to add the information to that so that's why the form mode is new form now when you try to click this one you can able to see title type of product and uh, make everything is available now in this form we don't have the save button to save the data so for that click uh, insert a button here and um, just give a name as save and then we'll we'll increase this font size to 18 and then we'll make it as bold and then we'll increase this size okay now we have the save button here when you select this button and you can able to see the on select function in the on select function we'll try to submit the data and use submit form and then now here when we try to submit the form we have form one here so click form one just close it okay now we have this we have this one and then what we'll do is we'll try to run this and when you try to run this just i'm trying to add a data here now the product here is iphone and then type of product is mobile and make is apple and then manufactured year is 2019 and then cost is some sixteen hundred dollars now when i click save we'll see what happens now the data is stored now it is showing that no item to display here so we'll close this one so before discussing that we'll discuss about this first we'll go to the canvas app folder open this product xlsx now you can able to see that data is added here iphone mobile apple and cost is 1600 and the manufacturing year is 2019 now this way we can able to add the data into your onedrive for business excel sheet we we'll close this one and we can able to put some success screen after this one when you click this save and i just want to insert a another screen here and there is a success screen i'm selecting this and we have a success screen here this was successfully completed instead of this we can add um, new product added successfully to the product list okay <clears throat> this is done and we'll insert another button we'll put here in this button we'll put something like this add new product so once we insert like this so now this is done we'll click this one so once it is done i just want to navigate to screen one so then user can able to add a new form there now we are done we'll go to the screen one and here in the save button so once it is completed successfully i just want to navigate to screen two yes done so we'll try to run this one now it is still there so when we click this one now it is navigating to screen 2 and before that before that so we have farm 1 now i am trying to reset the farm reset farm
we have form 1. We will reset the form 1 and then we will navigate to screen 2. So before that we will go to screen 2. Now here we have add new. We will try to check this one, run this one. Now click this add new product. Now still it is not coming here. When I click this save and it is going to new product, there was a problem. Okay, we will discuss about this problem when we run this one. Okay, now we have this. I am trying to <coughs> add some more information here. <coughs> So what we'll add, we'll add some Bravia and then type of product is television and then make is Sony and then manufacturer year is 2021 and then cost is something like it is $6,700. Now when I click save, I am expecting this will go to here, new product added successfully to the product list. When I click add new product now I we are came back to this form now we can able to add the data from here so this way we can simply create an item we can uh, save the data and we can show some success screen to the user and from the success screen we can come back to the actual screen we'll see if the data is added exactly so for that I click this one again product.xls x now see the data is added here and the final one here this is about id and it just an a unique one it will create whenever you add data from power apps so it is showing that power apps id now when you are trying to create any new item and this will add automatically with an a unique identifier so we'll come back to this close this one and we have other options also we'll discuss like how we can work with some of the text boxes currently we are working only with the controls which we have even when we go to the farm and here also we have the data cards for that we have star visible error message and data card values and data card keys so the keys we can keep a different names from the original source for example it is cost and which you can change to the product cost but inside this field it would be cost only and when you try to save the data will save automatically so that is about integrating power apps with the onedrive environment and how we can add the data we discussed about that and uh, it is adding the data even you can update and you can show the data you can use a display forms also to display the data when you have inside onedrive for business so that's about this thanks for watching my video